Resistance was not enough. So we burned the glass ceiling down. This is the man-maid's tale. Blessed be the fruit snacks. We have created a world where women rule, where toilet seats are never left up, and women are forbidden to shop for groceries. Dude, it's the bottom of the ninth, and Judge just homered for the Yankees. Sweet. Is this cilantro or mint? I don't know. Your commander has Pilates in an hour and needs you to start dinner. Yes, Uncle Lenny. Good boy. Are those wrinkles on your forehead of Melissa? Man-maids do not age well. Have you forgotten your Botox? We are the commanders, the CEOs, and the power brokers. Do you know how to lean in? I'm supposed to raise the baby and have a job and take care of the house and have a ripped bot. What is this about? Dude, that sounds brutal. Of Julia. Stubble, unibrow. On this blessed day, I ask you, do you think your commander wants razor burn? Do your best to be hairless. And who thought 78 cents on the dollar was fair? He did. He did. He did. These beards are disgraceful. You all look like a bunch of sinful hipsters. But some men will never learn. So we must teach them the hard way. She was an expert in her field, and he explained her own job to her. Mansplainer! 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 We will never again say me too. You need to learn your lesson, dear. Your commander is going to want to talk about this episode later. Of Rachel, watch it, or I will turn on Downton Abbey. No! You're a good boy of Rachel. My name is Steve. We need to get out of here. I can't get through the World Series like this. And at the end of the day, we call the shots. Live by the ceremony, die by the ceremony. I'm missing a screw.